In this session, we'll be talking about Six Kingdom classification system, which was given by Carl Rose. So what happened is in RH Whitaker system, you have seen there was one group which was assigned to all prokaryotes, which is called Kingdom Monera. And other four kingdoms were assigned to what you call all eukaryotic organisms. But what he did is he did not disturb those eukaryotic members. He worked upon Kingdom Monera and Kingdom Monera, he classified them into eubacteria and archaebacteria. So he divided Kingdom Monera into two more groups and came up with six kingdom classification. So six kingdom classification has got plantae, has got animalia, has got fungus, got protista and Kingdom Monera has been divided into two more kingdoms. So the fifth kingdom becomes archaebacteria and the sixth kingdom becomes eubacteria. Eu means true. So they are the true bacteria. Now what is true bacteria? The bacteria where the cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan. So you don't have peptidoglycan cell wall here. That doesn't mean they don't have cell wall. They have cell wall but it is not made up of peptidoglycans. So this is the major difference between archaebacteria and eubacteria. They are the true bacteria with peptidoglycan in their cell wall. They are the bacteria which don't have cell wall made up of peptidoglycan. Now what happens, there is one more difference between archaebacteria and eubacteria. Archaebacteria, if you can talk about the cell membrane, cell membrane in most of the organism is always made up of lipids and proteins. So here if you can see the lipids in your bacteria or in any of the members, the lipids are with the simple chains. But here in archaebacteria, the branching among the chain occurs and because of this particular branching, Archaebacteria are found in harsh habitats. In the next session when we'll be talking, we'll be discussing about Archaebacteria in details. But you bacteria remember there are simple chains. In Archaebacteria you remember that there is the branching in the chain when you talk about the structure of cell membrane. Now what happens next is these three things, three things as in all eukaryotes, Archaebacteria and eubacteria were also judged with their 16 as rRNA unit. rRNA it stands for ribosomal RNA and you must be knowing that ribosomal RNA is 70S type in what you call prokaryotes and 80S in eukaryotes. When you deep down in the what you call subunits of rRNA you have one special type of subunit which is 16 as rRNA. He studied the 16 as rRNA genes among all the organisms and found all eukaryotes were having the same similar type of 16 as rRNA genes. Archaebacteria were having the different one and bacteria were having the different one. So he classified all the six kingdom members into three domains. They are called domain. Now always remember that domain is the higher taxonomic category. When you were talking about kingdom, when you were talking about uh, the what you call taxonomic hierarchy, kingdom was the highest taxonomic category which was obligate. But apart from kingdom, there is a higher category which is called domain. So he classified them into three domains and he gave three domains of life. These three domains were eukaryota, archaea and bacteria. So the question comes who gave the three domain system? Carl Boos is the answer. What, what's the strategy to give them into three domains? The 16 as rRNA genes were the strategy based upon which these three domains were given. Now when you talk about these three domains, which this has got four kingdom, it has got one kingdom, it also has got one kingdom. So this was totally the six kingdom classification. So eukaryota, four kingdoms, archaea, one kingdom, which is archaebacteria, and bacteria, one kingdom, which is eubacteria. They all six kingdoms belonging to three domains must have come from an ancestor. The common ancestor, it's called progenote. So you'll have to remember the name of the common ancestor, which is progenote, which from which what you call all these domains are arising. In the next session, we'll be detailing you about Kingdom Monera.